Um, I am going to present uh, this book, uh, Changes and Challenges of Cross-Border Mobility Within the European Union, to you. And um, yeah, I'm just going to do it uh, orally. So um, I will start with um, giving you sort of the broad idea of, of, of uh, the, the the background of the book is, is actually based on the uh, what's called what's called the MEDA project, uh, research done on impact of labour migration from Central and Eastern European countries to the Danish labour market, and um, this was a research um, a research project that was in a, a cooperation between uh, um, some researchers uh, from Commit, including myself. Uh, commit that was before, uh, now uh, the DEMAS, uh, uh, a part of the DEMAS, um, and uh, the Department of Occupational Medicine at the uh, Regional Hospital West Jutland. So it was actually a, a quite interesting to cooperate with researchers coming from a very different sort of perspective on labour migrants, uh, labour migration, and the uh, occupational uh, conditions that they were uh, encountered in and uh, what kind of uh, risks uh, and, and, and health um, and care uh, issues that could be at stake in the types of, uh, of um, uh, jobs that they, they entered in. Uh, so that's sort of a, a, a part of, of the background, but also sort of um, to, to dig more into both uh, qualitative and quantitative data that would sort of uh, uh, expose uh, various kind of issues that um, is um, sort of uh, a part of this uh, uh, development that we see within the EU with the labour mobility uh, within the EU, but also from outside and into uh, the European uh, Union. So that was sort of very short, just some, some background knowledge. Um, what then was uh, part of it that uh, the majority or at least of the five chapters of the book, of the nine chapters in the book is actually based on results from the MEDA project. Uh, again, both qualitative and data and qualitative data was uh, applied in, 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 uh, in that. Um, and then, the remaining four chapters are um, based on papers presented at uh, workshops and at the conference that was hosted by the MEDA project. Uh, and that was actually back in 2016. Um, so it's been uh, uh, yeah, a process, uh, a long process uh, over some time. Yes, but first of all, uh, there is uh, an introduction chapter, um, makes sense, uh, uh, setting the scene for the, 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 the various chapters uh, in, um, in, the, the, in the book. Um, and um, is there something here that I should be doing to get on the screen or do you see me? It's good enough. Okay, good. Because um, I don't um, right. But uh, yeah, so this first uh, chapter, introductional chapter, um, it sort of goes into also how um, EU labour mobility have developed over time. Uh, but also, uh, what we can see that there are some uh, under some pressure uh, in an increasingly closed Europe. Uh, so even though we have this open union, we also have uh, elements of closing as also in terms of uh, what kind of labor migration is desired and what is and who is undesired in respective uh, EU countries. So here in that, in, in that chapter, uh, it sort of goes into details about these conditions and how it has developed over time since the late uh, 90s and, and of course then in, in, in the uh, 2004 and, and further on the, the, the development of the 
uh, opening of the European Union in terms of, in, in particular, in terms of, of labor mobility. Uh, and then uh, another uh, of the chapters um, uh, attached to the, the MEDA project is going into more details about how um, the significance of affiliations to, uh, to uh, the Danish labor market uh, and, and links to lives for uh, migration uh, patterns for European migrants in Denmark. So here it's going more into depth with um, a, a study on um, these um, migration patterns that we have seen uh, in, in, in terms of uh, uh, EU migrants coming to, to Denmark and, and um, not necessarily for settling here, but at, at least to, to take on um, uh, labor. Uh, so, so that's sort of one uh, distinct uh, chapter. Then uh, another chapter, um, uh, a part of the MEDA project, uh, addresses um, in particular how migrant workers can convert or can't convert their skills in the cleaning and construction industry. And then this is also sort of developed in terms of um, how uh, the sort of uh, the, the match or mismatch between uh, the educational uh, and skills that, that, that the labor migrants um, are um, bringing with them is matching with the actual uh, work that they, um, that they, can, they can actually um, uh, get in, in, in the Danish labor market and also how that over time might uh, develop and, and, uh, and giving them uh, in that sense um, more uh, sort of uh, yeah, skills and, 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 uh, and can use that to, to, to climb up uh, the educational or skills uh, ladder. Okay, and then um, there's also uh, another um, uh, another chapter on work environment and health uh, among migrant workers, and this is one of the chapters based on uh, more on on, um, on on quantitative uh, data, uh, going into how uh, the link is between the 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 work environment. And the 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 health dash the risks of uh, of injuries, for example, um, and and that's uh, sort of taking um, uh, a direction in terms of of the, the of the health issues. And then the final uh, chapter uh, that's related to the media media project uh, is uh, regarding. Um, migrant workers' experience of precarious working lives and, and, and working conditions uh, in the Danish labor market. And here, using a, a pure qualitative um, uh, approach, um, the, the migrant workers are interviewed uh, and, and, and using a narrative um, uh, approach in terms of how are they expressing their own experiences of being in the Danish labor market and, 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 and how are they experiencing being um, recognized or uh, uh, and what type of, 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 uh, of working lives are they, uh, are they actually articulating here and here in, 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 these, um, in these narratives, the precariousness of their lives are coming uh, very much um, um, up as, an, as, as, as a prominent issue uh, for them. So that was sort of the, the, the five chapters that was attached to the, the actual media uh, project. Uh, then the remaining four chapters, uh, as I mentioned, were based on, on, uh, on papers presenting at the workshop at the conference. And here they're sort of all going, again, they go abroad, uh, 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 not just from, from uh, to the Danish labor market, but here the one is on the, um, how um, the British media is uh, portraying um, Belgian um, and Romanian uh, workers um, as 
stealing the jobs from the, the British workers and also, uh, yeah, using uh, the, the, the EU citizenship to, to get uh, social benefits in the UK. So this kind of um, creating this, uh, what we could also say policy narrative in terms of, uh, or, or at least narrative in terms of how, public narrative in terms of how um, they are considered as sort of a negative as being uh, abusing uh, the situation and taking the jobs uh, from, from the, the Brits and so on. And then that's another of the chapters which is uh, based on um, uh, a study of, um, of, 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 of the Lithuanian migrant workers um, uh, in the EU as such. And this is the focus is here on, on uh, the, this group, the Lithuanian, and how they actually uh, are, uh, um, how they are being um, yeah, approached in different, uh, in different European countries and, and how they are doing in, in uh, work-wise as well. 